CBS 6 Sports, sponsored by your local upstate Chevy dealers. Hey everyone in sports, Sienna men's and women's lacrosse are now both in their MAC conference portion of their schedules. Today, the Saints in a doubleheader, both teams battling Canisius in thrillers. We start with a men's game, Sienna at home looking to bounce back after an overtime loss Saturday against LIU. The Griffs and Saints going back and forth early. The second quarter was where Sienna took control though. A goal here by Caden Olmstead putting Sienna up 9-5 at the half, but Canisius wouldn't go away. A dominant third, the Griffs Storming back to tie things at 10 to the fourth, 11-11. Jack Cavioli letting it rip for goal. Sienna back in front. Canisius responds, 12-12 now. Under a minute to play. Jackson Webster on the move, and he scores. 13-12, final chance going to the Saints. 15 seconds left. Olmstead's shot is saved, picked up by Canisius. They run out the clock, and that'll do it. Another close loss for Sienna. They fall 13-12. Now, the Santa women's team, they were on the road at Canisius. The Saints gunning for their fifth straight win. We go right to the fourth quarter. Sienna needing a comeback down three. Taryn Asselin cutting into the deficit, 10-8. Less than a minute later, Jordan Bentley with possession. She fires and scores. One goal game. Then Kelly Logue threatening. She's going to try for goal, and it falls. Sienna ties it at 10. But with just over five minutes left, the Griffs finally respond. A free position goal here, 11-10. Sienna now behind three to play. What a cut coming here for goal. Olivia Nicholson, 11 to 11. We go to overtime, same score in sudden death OT. Asselin plays hero, a game winning goal. Sienna pulls off the comeback. They win 12 to 11. Now we are officially one month away from the return of arena football to the Capital Region. In the rebirth of the Arena Football League, the Albany Firebirds are back and more than ready to forget about last year's debacle under the Antonio Brown regime. In a CBS 6 exclusive, morning anchor Chet Davis sat down with some of the Firebirds who talked about throwing the past aside and the importance of bringing back championship football to Albany. Last year, uh, obviously, the ending was was not as uh, what we wanted. Uh, we felt that we should have uh, competed for another championship. Uh, we've got great expectation, uh, obviously, but we wanted to be big about the community. Uh, we've been out doing as many events as we possibly can, and and we just want to know, you know, our community to know the Firebirds are your team. We kind of just want to pick up where we left off in 2022. Uh, we really don't want to go back to 2023 because of everything that took place last year. But um, we, we're just all happy to be back. The excitement is certainly there. Back-to-back -back National Arena League champs in 21 and 22. Under the Empire namesake, the Firebirds kick off their season at MVP Arena against the Orlando Predators on April 27th. And we'll end the night with some previews. Baseball is back, everyone. Opening days tomorrow. The New York Yankees starting their season out in Houston facing the Astros. As for the Mets... We already have a rain out. Their opener against the Brewers will now be Friday afternoon. To March Madness, tomorrow is practice day for the four teams that will play games on Friday. Some teams have already arrived today. Others tomorrow, including Iowa and Caitlin Clark, they will be arriving to Albany tomorrow as the festivities officially begin. And then, guys, Friday through Monday, all the games, MVP Arena will be the place to be. That's going to well, be a big day tomorrow. Yeah, the crowds on the street, everything. It's yeah. going to be exciting. It'll be very exciting. <laughs> All right. Well, and how's it going to be out on the street tomorrow? Well, uh, tomorrow, not so good. Yeah. It's going to be a little damp, uh, 40s tomorrow, but it will improve dramatically as we head through Friday and the weekend. There you go. That's good news. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.